My next guest is a living miracle. At age 11, he began using drugs, and not long after, he became a felon and found himself behind bars. But that was before God turned his life around. Today, he is the mayor. Did you hear me? He is the mayor of Leavenworth, Kansas. Not an inmate in Leavenworth. He's the mayor of the city. And he's here to share the absolutely amazing story. Please welcome the Honorable Mayor himself, Jermaine Wilson. Yes, mayor, hey, good welcome. To good to be here, sir. What a story. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You are a great reminder to me why we need to never give up on people. Yes, sir. What happened to you as a kid that took you down the wrong road? Well, it was hard to think about becoming successful when you were exposed to violence and crime at an early age. And you were? Yes, sir, correct. Mm -hmm. And my mother, she moved us into a neighborhood, uh, which was the ghetto, and she worked two jobs and did everything she could, you know, to move us up, uh, to move us out. And when she saved enough money, she did succeed in that in moving us out. But we were exposed to so much violence and had family members who was incarcerated, selling drugs, dad been to prison, brother been to prison. And it seemed like that was the, the, uh, the, uh, the, the curse, the hereditary mm. curse that was in my family. And so people labeled me as being a statistic already early on. And I said, I'd never go to prison. But I started picking up those rocks and throwing them at the penitentiary, knocking on the prison doors because I was committing crimes, breaking the law. And I looked up to my big brother. He was getting in trouble early on. And because I wanted to be like him, I started committing crimes. 11 years old, started using drugs. I also broke in a, uh, broke in a house. And when I broke in a house, you know, it was a petty crime, but serious crime. I was a short, fat kid and I was hungry. I broke in a house and made a sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> but I got arrested. <laughs> and when I got arrested, I was sentenced to jail. And when I was in jail, I cried to the guard. I'm like, please don't call my mom. And he said, now nah, you should have thought about that. And when he called my mom, my mom, she beat me so bad, she stunted my growth. <laughs> <laughs> you, you know what you're talking about though, it's not that you didn't have a mother who loved you dearly. Yes. Your mother truly wanted you to be on the right path. Yes, sir. Yes, and your sir, story sir. is like so many kids that grow up in the inner city that your mother was having to work two jobs just to keep food on your table. Yeah. Having that extra free time, I started sneaking out. When you get exposed to doing wrong, you know, you get that thrill and it was exciting. And when dad was working, mom was going working, uh, we just took advantage of that time. And by the age of 15, I committed a robbery charge. I was sentenced to two years. And while I was incarcerated, tried to escape and I was sentenced to four years. And after that juvenile uh, sentence was done, I went back to my old neighborhood, that old lifestyle. And that's when I started selling drugs. I felt like you know, society wasn't gonna hire a felon. Yeah. And, but that wasn't the case. I didn't even try, but I allowed that stigma that was placed upon me, I accepted it. And once I got involved off in the hustle and had a son who was eight months old, you know, I was so desensitized. I was high all the time. I neglected my responsibilities and I wasn't ready to own up to be a father. And before I knew it, you know, I left that house that day when my girlfriend told me not to. And I ended up, I didn't see my son until three years later. Goodness. That's when I got got arrested and caught with drugs. So what was the turning point? Because I mean, that is a very different lifestyle than being mayor of Leavenworth, Kansas yes, sir. now. Yes, sir. Something big must have happened in Jermaine's life. What was yes, it? Yes, sir. When I was in prison, I was at the lowest point of my life. I was broken down, stripped away from everything that I had. I had nowhere to run to, nowhere to turn to. And so when I'm down and out, there's only one other place to go and that's up. And when I looked up, I cried out to God. I said, Lord, if you are real, I need you to come speak into my heart right now. I want a second chance. I want to be a father. I want to be responsible. Help me because I can't change myself and I need you. And when I cried out to God for the first time in my life, I felt free. I felt peace. Mm -hmm. And it was uh, uh, the best feeling that I ever had in my life. And I didn't want to lose that feeling. And when I'd had that feeling, I knew right then and there, God had changed my heart. When did you say, I'm gonna run for the city council and ultimately become the mayor of Leavenworth, Kansas. Yes, sir. I mean, that's a, that's a pretty big jump. Yes, sir. So I was actually serving the community. Uh, we were working with our local law enforcement. There was so much racial tension taking place in society. We wanted to uh, uh, create a solution to the problem. So we started working with the local law enforcement. We created an organization called the Unity in the Community, and it was serving the underserved, uniting people, uh, community leaders, church leaders. And this one particular day when we had an event with our police department, youth versus the police department in basketball, we 
had food giveaway, clothes giveaway, and people were like, who put that event on? I said, oh, that little short guy over there. <laughs> I said, is that, it? I got a childhood nickname, Too Short. They said, is that Too Short? What is he doing? And then that's when people started coming to me. They said, you ever thought about politics? I said, oh, no. That's the devil's <laughs> playground. I don't do politics. Well, that, you were right about that. Yeah. <laughs> and then uh, a person came to me. He said, man, one day, he said, you could possibly become the mayor the way that you're serving people. Mm. I said, yeah, right. And when I said that, it's like God spoke to my heart and was saying, why not? And I realized I had put limitations on a big God. Mm. And that's when I was like, God, forgive me. Whatever door you opened up, I'm going to walk through. And when I gave it all up to God, that's all it took. But seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all things shall be added unto you. What a great, a great story, Jermaine. God yes, bless you. God bless you as well. Man, you are an inspiration and encouragement, not just to me and this audience, but to kids all over the country who think that there's no hope for them getting out of the hole there. Yes, sir. And you're living proof yes, that sir. there is hope. It is. Thank you, my friend. Yes, sir. What a joy to have you here. Hey, if you want to learn more about this amazing man and the great city that he's leading as mayor, you can visit LVKS. That's obviously for Leavenworth, Kansas. LVKS.org. Follow the mayor on Facebook at Jermaine Wilson LV.